This spot fire analysis document contains a data table which relates data collected from our expenses reporting system over a six-month period. Let's proceed to the next pages where we can engage in an interactive visual analysis of this data. This tree map uses a color and size gradient to communicate expense amounts within our expense report hierarchy. Currently, the tree map reflects all rows of data in the underlying data table. However, we could filter to isolate expenses in the final quarter of 2012, which had an amount value less than or equal to 300. And we will mark to populate the Details on Demand panel with the expenses made by these five employee numbers. If we access the Bookmarks panel using this toolbar icon, we have the ability to capture a bookmark which reflects these analysis settings. If we title the bookmark My Bookmark and click the Add Bookmark button, this saved bookmark gives us the ability to clear the marking and reset the filters, then easily return to that saved state of the analysis by applying that bookmark, which can be accomplished with a double click here in the Bookmarks popover panel. However, what if we wanted to save a select aspect of the current state of the analysis, like the current filter settings? Well, we could capture another bookmark titled My Filter Settings, but this time, rather than clicking the Add Bookmarks button, we will use the drop-down menu next to that button in order to select Add Bookmark Special. The resulting dialog is quite instructive as it displays all the aspects which are captured when one simply clicks on the Add Bookmark button. We can use this dialog to select the aspects we wish to capture. We'll deselect all and check Filter Settings. When we click the Add Bookmark button, we now have a bookmark which will apply only the current filter settings. So when we clear the markings and reset the filters, we need only double-click to apply this bookmark to return to the state where expenses from the final quarter of 2012 with amounts of 300 or less are isolated. Note that no data is marked as a result of the application of this bookmark. Note that currently, only the date and amount filters are shown. If we want to capture this aspect of the analysis, we could title another bookmark Filter Organization A and add bookmark special where only Filter Organization is checked. We'll add this bookmark and then proceed to edit the filter organization to hide all filters, then show only project type and project number. When we click OK, we can capture this filter organization as another bookmark titled Filter Organization B and again add bookmark special. It is now a simple matter of double-clicking to apply each of these bookmarks in order to change the filters which are displayed in the Filters panel. Note that the Filter Organization is an entirely separate aspect from the Filter Settings, so we can reset the filters and it will have no impact on our ability to switch between these two sets of Filter Organization states. This may be especially useful when you are designing an analysis for TIPCO Spotfire Web Player users. However, you would need to take the extra step of making those two bookmarks public in order for other users to see those bookmarks. The web player does not offer the user access to the Organized Filters dialog. Consequently, users viewing your analysis via this browser-based client cannot show filters which have been hidden by you, the author. They do, however, have access to the bookmarks you've made public, so they can apply each of these in order to change the filters which are visible in the Filters panel. On the next page of the analysis, we have several visualizations. The combination chart and the pie chart both use marking A, while the bar chart uses marking B. If both markings are employed to indicate data of interest, we can capture a bookmark titled My Markings and add bookmark special where only the markings aspect is captured. If we interact with visualizations to mark different subsets of data, we can easily return to the previous state of marking by applying this bookmark. So if you have configured more than one marking, bookmarks are capable of capturing those multiple markings. Let's clear the markings in the bar chart and focus on the scenario related in this text area. The intended workflow is only partially complete. The purpose of the text area is to guide the user to use this slider to set a limit for daily meal expenses and mark daily meal expense amounts above the threshold. Then we intend to create a button which allows the user to filter to that marked data. So we'll toggle the text area into edit mode, insert an action control, type isolate high meal expenses, and open the functions in order to add filter to marked rows as an action. When we click OK, the button appears in the text area, and we can toggle out of editing mode. This button will work fine as long as the bar chart is still active. 
However, if the user has activated one of the other visualizations, the button will not operate as intended. The data is filtered to marking A rather than marking B. We can fix this by resetting the filters, activating the bar chart visualization, and capturing a bookmark titled Active Bar Chart and including only the active visualization aspect before clicking Add Bookmark. If we toggle the text area back into edit mode and double click to edit our button, we can add the active bar chart bookmark as an action and move it up to be applied before the filter to marked rows action. When we click OK and toggle out of edit mode, we can test this button, which will no longer filter to the incorrect marking subset because the bar chart will be activated prior to filtering to the marked rows. Let's clear both markings. This page currently represents a pretty nice layout of text area and visualizations. So we might be hesitant to maximize a visualization because we would then have to put in a bit of effort in order to return the page to this exact layout. A bookmark can help us with this situation. Let's capture a bookmark titled My Page Layout, where we use Add Bookmark Special to include only page layout and visualizations. When we add this bookmark, we are now free to apply the active bar chart bookmark and then maximize the active visualization. We can reset the filters and interact with this expanded visualization to mark daily meal expenses over $40 and right click to invert the marked rows in order to mark low daily meal expenses. After interacting with that maximized visualization, we can return to the saved page layout by applying the captured bookmark. On the next page, several property controls have been created in order to convert all expense amounts to U.S. dollars. You can see that our currency conversion rates have not been updated since December 2012. Before we change these values, we could create an archive of currency conversion updates by capturing a bookmark with the title 30 December 2012, selecting Add Bookmark Special, and including only the properties. We'll add this bookmark and then update these input fields with more recent currency conversion rates. Then capture that as an appropriately titled bookmark, which saves those properties. We can now use these two bookmarks to examine the differential impact of these currency conversion rate property values. Just to round out the list of available analysis aspects, which can be captured in bookmarks, let's title one more bookmark, Currency Conversion, and add bookmark special with only the active page included. After adding this bookmark, we can move to another page and apply the bookmark to return us to the currency conversion page. Note that the first bookmark we captured in this demonstration, my bookmark, captured all of the available bookmark aspects. Therefore, it should be no surprise that it returns us to the reporting hierarchy analysis page. If we clear the markings and reset the filters, you should know that it is possible to apply only select aspects of a bookmark which captured more than one analysis aspect. For example, we can go to the expense analysis page and use the menu available on my bookmark to apply special and select markings. Note that by selecting this aspect of my bookmark, the filter settings will not be applied and we will not be navigated to the reporting hierarchy analysis page. Only the data marked in the tree map, which shares its marking with the combination chart and pie chart is marked on this page.